as I promised in the last video. If we reach 1k likes at this video, I will prepare another best video for you all. I will do make another guide, because the video got over 2k likes. The most perfect nectar guide for every type of player. Unknown things and explaining how to collect and maintain nectar for future boosts. Hello beekeepers, I want to announce you that. This video will help you a lot with planters growth in nectar the most. Watch until the end, because you will learn a lot of new things. Things that will make your progress easy and it will change you with a lot. Only one more thing and we will get into the content. Shortly, make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe. It helps me insanely a lot. Let's get into the video. Number 1. Where should I place my planter for a specific nectar type? Our first thing is to know every field. What field gives us, for example invigorating. I will explain you fast and shortly. You can obtain refreshing nectar by placing a planter in the following fields. Blue flower field gives you refreshing nectar. Strawberry field gives you refreshing nectar. Coconut field gives you refreshing nectar. You can obtain comforting nectar by placing a planter in the following fields. Dandelion field gives you comforting nectar. Bamboo field gives you comforting nectar. Pine tree field gives you comforting nectar. You can obtain satisfying nectar by placing a planter in the following fields. Sunflower field gives you satisfying nectar. Pineapple gives you satisfying nectar. Pumpkin patch gives you satisfying nectar. You can obtain motivating nectar by placing a planter in the following fields. Mushroom field gives you motivating nectar. Spider field gives you motivating nectar. Stump field gives you motivating nectar. Rose field gives you motivating nectar. You can obtain invigorating nectar by placing a planter in the following fields. Clover field gives you invigorating nectar. Ant field gives you invigorating nectar. Cactus field gives you invigorating nectar. Mountain top field gives you invigorating nectar. Pepper patch gives you invigorating nectar. Now, we know everything about field nectars. Number 2. How do I speed up the planter growth process? The second thing and one of the most important things in a planter process. Everyone wants to know every way and how to grow a planter faster. So, let me explain that easily. As we all know, every planter has a specific ability. They can grow faster in a specific zone or close to different type of flowers. I will explain you, and I will showcase you every planter's ability. We exclude event planters, because they are rare to obtain. 1. Paper planter. This planter is just a normal planter. It has no specific fields or things that can grow it faster. 2. Plastic planter. The same, it is a normal planter that has a normal grow rate. It can't be affected by other fields. 3. Candy planter. This planter is special and you will see why. Candy planter grows 25% faster in the strawberry field, pineapple patch, and coconut field. These three fields can help the candy planter in growth. 4. Red clay planter. It is a planter that grows in about 6 hours, but it grows faster near red flowers. 5. Blue clay planter. This one is a planter that grows faster near the blue flowers. Literally, it is the opposite of red clay planter. 6. Tacky planter. This planter is one of the common and the best planters that can be used in collecting tons of nectar. It grows faster near the hives. 7. Pesticide planter. The planter that grows in about 10 hours of playtime. It grows faster near the 5B zone. It means in the spider field, strawberry field and in the bamboo field. 8. Petal planter. One of the best planters that can bring you tons of nectar. It grows faster near the white flower. Most favorite field, the spider field. 9. Planter of plenty. The best planter that grows in 16 hours. Stores tons of honey, around 1 trillion. And it can grow 50% faster and grants 50% more pollen in the pepper patch. Stump field, coconut field and in the mountain top field. Gifted bees are 50% likely to sip nectar from this planter and grants 50% of all nectar types. If you own this, you can easily get nectar. Now, let me show you another way to grow the planters faster. A planter can grow faster by using a glitter. The growth process will be faster with 25%. Use only one glitter for each planter. Do not waste more than one glitter on the same planter. You will waste them without knowing that one is more than enough. Another way to speed up the process is to drop an oil. As we all know, the oil can help the play, but at the same time it can help the player gain much more move speed. But, we talk about the bee move speed. It can help the bees move a lot faster, with 1.2 times. A planter can grow 8% faster by using a cloud, 20% faster by having 6 clouds in the field, and, the main things that can make your planter grows a lot faster. Stay in the field where you have placed your planter, AFK there with a sprinkler and it will grow faster. Another important thing that people use to avoid. The Polar Power. As you can see, I have over 1k and 700 Polar Power. Polar Power can increase the max bee energy, but it will help in planter's growth. Every 1k Polar Bear quests, it will become much more overpowered, and you will be able to grow your planters a lot more faster. 
These were the main things that can help you in a planter growth. Do not avoid them, and you will be okay. Also, if you own a shy bee in the hive, you are able to sip double nectar. Notice that, shy bee became a normal bee by using it on the blue clay planter. The last two things and the most important ones. A blue clay planter hates red bees, and a red clay planter hates blue bees. Number 3. How I avoid the degradation problem. As we all know, a planter has different phases. A planter can be affected by the same field, by changing his own color to brown. If you see that your planter gained the brown color, it doesn't sound that good. If a planter is brown, it means that is degraded. At full degradation, a planter on that field grows 75% slower. But, fields are restored to 0% degradation over the course of 48 hours. So, to avoid this, just move the planter in different fields. But, notice that, a planter's loot drops and nectar are heavily influenced by the field it is placed in. Just think two times when you place a planter. A starter degradation can be easy to avoid by doing this method. Place your planter in different fields, and you can come back at the recent field in about 8 hours of playtime. Your planter must be fully green to work best with other ways that can make the growth faster. Number 4. Do I have any easiest ways to collect extra nectar and where should I place my planter? We talked about fastest and easiest ways to grow a planter, about degradations and about nectars. Now, we talk about how to use these planters. Some of you has no idea that in Bee Swarm Simulator we can do combos that can make our progress easier. So, let me explain that clearly and shortly. As we all know, starting from Candy Planter and ending with Planter of Plenty, we have different bonus nectars. Some specific planters can bring us an extra nectar multiplier. One, Candy Planter, can bring us a multiplier of 1.2 times of motivating nectar. Place it in the motivating nectar fields. 2. Red clay planter can bring us a multiplier of 1.2 times of invigorating and satisfying nectar. Place it in the fields that contains red flowers and these two nectars. 3. Blue clay planter can bring us a multiplier of 1.2 times of comforting and refreshing nectar. Place it on the fields that contains blue flowers and these two nectars. 4. Tacky planter can bring us a multiplier of 1.25 times of satisfying and comforting nectar. Place it in the fields that are close to the hives and that contains these two nectars. 5. Pesticide planter can bring us a multiplier of 1.25 motivating and satisfying nectar. This planter is used the most for motivating nectar. Place it on the spider field for more motivating nectar and for a fastest growth. 6. Petal planter can bring us a multiplier of 1.5 times of comforting and satisfying nectar. I advise you to place it on the fields that contains white flowers and these two nectars. Most overpowered fields, sunflower field and dandelion field. At the same time on the dandelion field. You have a chance to receive a beequip that can be used on bees. 7. Planter of Plenty can bring us a multiplier of 1.5 times of every nectar. Place it on the field that you need nectar and you can't get it with other planters. I advise you to use it on pepper for extra invigorating nectar. But, as we all know, there are less people that own this planter. So, I advise you to use the following planters. Red Clay Planter, Blue Clay Planter, Tacky Planter, Pesticide Planter, and if you own it, the Petal Planter. The Petal Planter is the solution on getting nectars faster. Number 5. How do I keep and maintain nectars? After all of that, we finally get into the maintain nectar thing. As we all know, we own in the game, a jar. This jar is used to keep safe only one nectar. The common question is, what should I keep safe in the jar? As you all know, every color has a specific main nectar. Red has as a main nectar, the invigorating one. So, if you want to save the best nectar for red, invigorating is perfect. Blue has as a main nectar, the comforting one. So, save this type of nectar if you are a blue hive. Here, we have another problem. If you want to boost or to macro as a blue hive you need every nectar type, right? But, invigorating can be obtainable so hard. It can be maintained. But you can't get it back that easily since you got only low tier planters for this type of nectar. I advise you to keep the invigorating nectar in the jar as an advanced blue hive. If you are a mid-game blue hive player, you can use only 4 nectars. You literally exclude the invigorating nectar. But, for a best experience, you need 5 full nectars. Or, you make less honey. As a white hive, you have as a main type of nectar the satisfying one. Keep this one in the jar, and maintain the others. On maintaining the nectars, you do not need to fully grow a planter. It depends on how low is your nectar. If your nectar is at half, just let your planter grow 60%. If your nectar is 75% full, just grow your planter until 40%. That's how you collect and maintain the nectars. Tell me in the comments below if this guide helped you. I really hope that it helped. I really appreciate if you leave a like at this video. And if you subscribe to my channel with the notifications bell on. You are the best beekeeper. It was me, Zap Player, your favorite bee swarm troll. Stay safe, stay strong and stay cool. Bye.